When God called me, he specifically charged me with two things. One, reach out to children. Two, reach out to youth and families. This is my calling. So everything that I do, most of what I do, I focus on children, young people, and families. My name is John Nathan Owara, the Ministry Regional Coordinator for Scripture Union Northern Region. Today, I'm speaking to students and anybody that has a book in front of them. I want to talk about a book. As usual, I use acronyms or abbreviations. Let's talk about a book. So if you have a book in front of you with notes inside, you are in class, you are attending lessons, and you're writing in that book. That book can be the following, or it can be the opposite. So let's use the acronym of book to explain a few things to you. As a student, a book is a blessing. B is for blessing. A book is a blessing. What you have in front of you with the notes inside is a blessing. It can also be a curse. It depends on how you use it. So a book is a blessing. You have a book in front of you. It is a blessing. Thank God for what you have. Thank God for being able to be in a classroom setting. A book is a blessing. Don't allow a book to become a curse. Use the book well. That it become a blessing to you. That when you look back, you're like, God, I thank you because the literature in English book, the chemistry book, the biology book, the science book, whatever book you have, has been a blessing. That is book. B for blessing. O, a book is an opportunity. When you have a book, you have an opportunity to go high, to go high, to soar on heights. A book is an opportunity to brighten your future. A book is an opportunity to prove people who speak bad about you wrong. A book is an opportunity to shut the mouths of people who are speaking negative about you. A book is an opportunity for you to better the life of your family. A book is an opportunity for you to understand your purpose in life. Some of you, God has called you to be lawyers. Some of you, God has called you to be teachers. Some of you, God has called you to preach the gospel. But you need the book to get to know English because the better the English you speak, the better the interpretation of scripture. Because the scripture has been translated into English language. So it's important. So whether you only know Luganda or you only know English or you only know a specific language, know that a book is an opportunity to, f to grow higher and to soar on heights. So don't look at a book and despise it. A book is an opportunity. A book is a blessing. B, a book is a an opportunity. O. The second O, a book helps you to get organized. We have people who have not gone to school. I respect them, but they are not as organized as guys who have gone to school. Now you find someone who has gone to school is still disorganized. That's why you tell us, that's why in school we are told to tuck in. That's why in school we are told to put on socks because the book has given the opportunity to get organized. That's why they teach physics, they teach chemistry, they teach biology. They're trying to help you get organized in life. That's why they teach you hygiene. A book helps you get organized. And K, a book is knowledge. We, have, we know the common saying, knowledge is power. Yes, the more knowledge you know, the more power you have. It's just as simple as that. If you don't know the word of God, you don't have power. If you cannot read, understand the word of God, you don't have power. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And how do you hear the word of God? Because you read it and you get knowledge. 
Now we have people that have knowledge, but have misused the knowledge. But you see, all of it comes from the book. So a book is knowledge. Did you also know that a book is the kitchen? K for kitchen. In the kitchen, we cook. In the kitchen, we prepare food. Now you can produce bad food or good food. You can produce burnt food <laughs> or you can produce well-cooked food. So a book is a kitchen. So as you're reading your book, as you're reading the notes the teachers have given you, you know that you're actually cooking. And what you're cooking, we shall know when you serve it on the table. When you're either graduating or you are not, either from a, a, an institution or not. When you drop out of school or you are still in school. So a book is a kitchen. You are cooking something that will help you later. You will eat it. People that have cooked well in the kitchen of a book, you find that the guys have something here. You find that they can also do this. You find that they can also give to church. You find that they can also support other people. It's the power of a book. But remember, a book without the word of God, any other book without the word of God is a useless book. If you're reading chemistry and you don't have Jesus in your life, it's like any other book. It will be difficult for you to get knowledge cooked well from the kitchen of God. That's what a book is. A book is a blessing. A book is an opportunity to be better. A book is one, something that helps you get organized. And a book is knowledge or a kitchen. God bless you. Thank you.